we're fascinated out east by your state out west and it feels like watching from afar you guys have passed a lot of legislation that you're kind of it feels like it was messaged to be the anti-trump legislation can i just tick off a few that sure I, that sure. made me think of that uh transgender equality legislation abortion rights uh for every woman regardless of her immigration status deportation protections uh, racial profile training right ethnic studies for students k through 12. Is that what happened? Did you guys set out to try to pass legislation to message against the president? Here's what I would say. Uh, while Washington, D.C. is falling apart, Oregonians are coming together. We're committed to providing, for example, health care for every single Oregonian. With the Affordable Care Act, we've been able to get to 95% coverage for adults. We were at 98% coverage for children, Republicans, Democrats, Urban and rural came together to make sure that every single child, regardless of their immigration status, will have health care coverage. Do you feel like Oregonians, uh, women, children, people who need health care are under threat by Washington and that you needed to spend time to, to pass legislation? Certainly what's happening at the federal level is creating chaos and uncertainty in terms of the health care arena. But in terms of basic rights, uh, we see women's reproductive access care as a fundamental right for Oregon women and Oregon families, frankly. Uh, in terms of the transgender legislation, we've been working hard in our state to make sure that everyone has the full legal protections. Your critics uh, feel like they, they can explain away this as, as you kind of pandering to a far left base and that the rest of Oregon is concerned about things like the state's expensive retirement system, the budget, transportation. Well, one of my jobs as governor is to make sure that the economy continues to thrive uh, that our economy keeps humming throughout the entire state. So I've certainly focused my work on making sure that our rural and our urban communities have the resources and tools that they need to be economically successful. That's why we work with Republicans, Democrats, uh, with elected officials all around the state to invest in our roads and bridges. Making these kinds of investments will create over thousands of jobs throughout the state of Oregon through the lifetime of the package. Some of these policies at the state level could have a financial impact on y'all. Let's say if the president uh, wins a court case that he can prohibit law enforcement grants for states that don't hand over immigrants. Are you concerned that some of these messaging bills could financially and tangibly hurt Oregon? No, we are well within the confines of federal law and feel uh, very good uh, that we're providing necessary protections for our immigrant uh, populations throughout the state of Oregon. But I will tell you one area where uh, the administration policies have really had an economic impact. This year was a great cherry year. Family farms really struggled to get the workforce, the workers they needed to pick those cherries um, because of uh, the administration's immigration policies. It's impacting all of our economy. So what I hear you, you say is you feel like some of these more progressive policies uh, resonate with people who might not realize these policies are what they want? Well, I, I think that the work we're doing is focused on helping struggling families thrive, whether they live in rural Oregon and urban Oregon, that the policies we set, we work collaboratively with the business community, Republicans and Democrats, um, to make sure they work for businesses large and small. Um, obviously, not everyone agrees with those policies, but we think it's important uh, to create, if you want an economy that hums, that thrives, um, that it's an economy that parents uh, with children, that raising their children uh, can function in. And we think those are key policies. You are a woman and you're governor. You're one of six out of 50, if my math is right. Talk to me about that. It, it feels like a disparity given half our population is female. <laughs> yes, it is. What I'm pleased to see right now is so many women uh, standing up and deciding to run for office. Uh, just to give you a sense, we have usually one eMERGE class. They train Democratic women to run for office, whether it's school board or the legislature or Congress. And this year, we've had so many women expressed interest in running for office and wanting to make a difference. Uh, they dub they've doubled that class. Emily's List usually has a couple hundred women that sign up. 
They've had thousands of women uh, say, we want to run for office. We want to make sure that our voices get heard. We want to make a difference. I anticipate you'll see a lot more women running for governor in 2018.